I was probably the least skillful player in the Italian United squad. Um, blimey, um, I had some very skillful players in that team. You know, Chris Waddle and um, people like Peter Beersley. But I'd, I'd probably have to go with Gaza. I mean, Gaza was the most naturally gifted kind of technical footballer that I would have played with. Um, he didn't always use it wisely, but he was certainly the most uh, um, gifted, and he was phenomenal in '90. That's for sure. give the ball away. That's usually the kind of the safety people, isn't it? They never give the ball away at the back. But uh, in terms of, you know, a good football never gave the ball away. Someone like Chris Waddle, who, you know, would also be very creative and brilliant cross of the ball. He had a great delivery. Uh, the fastest player in that squad would be me. Or Des Walker. Des Walker is pretty... I'll give it to Des. Only because I'd you know, I don't want to be boastful. Um, that would be Gazza again. Yeah, annoyingly so at times, but he could be very funny on occasions. Okay. Yeah, I mean, even I think before we played the World Cup semi-final, he was playing tennis with some German tourists on the court and had to be dragged off by, um, by Bobby Robson, but he was... Yeah. I wouldn't want to be in it. I hated five aside. Never interested. Um, but best five aside team. Oh, probably the. You know, you'd need a mix, wouldn't you? So you'd have Shilton in goal, and then you'd have maybe Butcher because he's so big, you'd never get past him. And then maybe Waddle, Gaza, and Beardsley. <laughs> I was, I was pretty good at moaning, but then um, someone like Terry Butcher, you wouldn't want to lose when Terry's around. He's a fearfully competitive soul. Oh, it's testing my memory now. Oh, Stuart Pearce. You just don't want to go near Stuart Pearce in training, which I never did, ever, under any circumstances. I found football is a, a particularly punctual um, because you know you, you, you spend your whole life being told what time you've got to be everywhere. So it's actually quite rare for footballers to be to le late for training. You occasionally get that at club level, but to be honest, if you've reached the top and you're playing for your national side, you ain't going to be late. I can't even recall anyone being late, but it was a long time ago. So maybe I'm just late in remembering. Um, definitely not me. I wasn't the best trainer in the world. Um, Christ, I, who would work hard? Well, they always. I think you know most of the players work hard in training. And at the same time, when you're in a World Cup, you you, you don't want to do too much either because it's game after game after game in the heat. So it was more about recovery than training hard. So sometimes players like Gaza, for example, who would want to keep going, you would have to kind of restrain him. So. It, I perhaps say Gaza. <laughs> Sometimes, not always, obviously.